not kidding. I know I could quote so many Frasier episodes to you right now. I'm so whenever I found out they were rebooting it, I freaked out. Did you? Wow. Yes, I'm not kidding. There are certain <laughs> the level of wit, the comedic timing, the physical comedy, like all of it, it's all there. And I think it's one of those. I'm not not to dog any shows now. I just think there aren't really shows like that now. So I was so excited. Like, why did you want to reboot it now? Thanks. Well, it was just uh, it seemed like the right time to do it. Yeah. Um, six years ago, um, the Roseanne show kind of came back, and then yeah. it was a big, big hit. And yeah. I thought, well, you know, Frazier hasn't gone anywhere. He's just sort of drifted off into the you know. He the, is a part of our family. Yes. Right. I love him. And uh, it it seemed like a good idea to bring him back because he was always funny and he had yeah. had a nice take on the world and he loved the world and he wanted to make things better. So it seemed like it was a good time to to step back into the role. Yeah. Did you always because your voice. I mean, just one of the greatest voices, speaking voice, singing voice. It's just a great oh, Thank you. Tone. For me, that's a big compliment. Well, it's, you. You, it's a gorgeous tone that people, like, dream of. And did you always did you always think you were going to do the theme song to Frasier? Was there ever any other idea? Well, what I did was I said to them, uh, the producers at the time, I said, oh, by the way, I am going to sing the theme song. Is that what you did? Yeah. You're just like, and oh. they said, uh, well, we're not planning on making a theme song. I said, well, maybe we should plan on making one. I love it. I love it. You're just so, like, no, no, I have So we ended idea. up with this sort of weird hybrid song. It doesn't have like a middle verse or anything like that. It doesn't have like a, a whole story to tell. But it is that sort of jazzy sting thing which seemed really appropriate. And it, uh, it has it's become so very popular. It's so appropriate for Frasier Crane. Like, it's just, it fits so perfectly. And it's in everyone's heads forever. I love it so much. Thank, um, you. thank you for singing it with me. I was very oh, excited. Oh, it's my honor. I was, and I just love that jazz vibe. Like, that whole setup yeah. is so Well, we changed it a little bit for this, this incarnation yeah. of the show because I thought, well, he's a little wiser, he's a little more mellow, he's a little more comfortable in his own skin. Yeah. And so we should like uh, lower it and kind of, you know, ease into it a little bit more. And I love that. So that was purposeful, his, the yeah, new arrangement absolutely. for New Frasier. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Uh, did you, I hear that you always have, you must love singing, you always have karaoke at your parties? Well, I didn't used to have karaoke at my parties until I met <gasps> my wife. She, so she's, she's better. She's the karaoke genius. <laughs> she so I love her. She's a genius at it. I okay. Mean, it's amazing. What's a go-to song a, for either one of you? Uh, well. She she sings Karen Carpenter like <gasps> like Karen Carpenter couldn't. Oh. I mean, it's amazing. It's clear as a bell. Here. Yeah, she's here. She's up there. Oh my gosh, I love Karen Carpenter. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, when when she sings those songs, I can take all of the madness the world has to give. Oh my God. Oh. It's just it's extraordinary. And it's, it's so clear. And I she mean, also an sings life, Desperado yeah. like. <gasps> No one's ever seen it. I just sang Desperado here, ma'am. It's about the sexiest thing you've ever heard in your oh life. Oh my God. When she says, you know, open the gate, it's like, oh. Yeah. Baby. Like, fine, I will. <laughs> Come on. Like, I love it. Coming on in. Wait, what's your uh, go to? Uh, I, I tend to sing, uh, I'll do Let's Dance by David Bowie. <gasps> and uh, we have another distinction that I share with David Bowie, which is very interesting. I, I had a little heart trouble about. Uh, 15 years ago? Yeah. And what the nurses told me was, oh, David Bowie was in his bed before you. <gasps> You're like, I'm going to make it. Well, I finally, finally have arrived. I, I love, that's amazing. <laughs> and then, and the guy in, in before him was uh, Paul Newman. So are, it's like, are you serious? So obviously, they're probably not supposed to tell you, but that particular. Does this person <laughs> only work on super famous people? <laughs> right. I, I was think like, that, <laughs> it was that. It was that room, apparently. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But back to Frasier. Back to Frasier. Um, <laughs> because I'm very excited. So back in Boston. Yes. So this was all purposeful. This well, is like full circle. From at Tuesdays. first, I yeah. wanted to, I wanted to bring the whole legacy cast back, but in a different world. You know, where, where we'd all moved on to something else, yeah. but we would still be connected. Uh, that didn't work out. Okay. So once that happened, after about three years of really trying to kind of sell that idea to everybody, uh, I went home and thought, well, what do we do now? And I actually, in a dream, I said, oh, he's got to go back to Boston. He hasn't finished. He didn't. He didn't leave Boston the right way. Yeah. The original concept was that he had to get all the way across the country because we just wanted to get away from Boston to start the new show. Yeah. But that was just a kind of a geographical happenstance. I thought in this one, he he left. The, the thing with Diane didn't work out. Lilith and he got divorced. His son has been in Boston ever since. I thought he's got stuff he's got to do in Boston still. Yeah. And cause, so that when he went, when he went there as a young man, to first go to Harvard, it didn't work out the way he wanted it to. And so we had That's some stuff beautiful. to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. So we're back and in Boston. so relatable. Yeah. I love that there's a tribute to John Mahoney, who played your father. Yeah. Is that the name of the bar? Uh, that... Mahoney's bar. Yeah. yeah. The baby's name is John. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the son, Daphne, uh, Daphne and Niles is. Oh, I loved him. Um, and Eddie. Oh man, I love. Yeah, you have yeah. no idea. I have. But yeah, he, you know, John. John died a few years back, and. Um, 
I just thought, well, we can't do the show again without honoring John. We just can't, yeah. you know. And, that, and it has to it has to begin with the fact that John is gone, and Dad's gone, Martin's yeah. gone, and so that then I become Dad, you know. Oh. My gosh, okay, my makeup artist will kill me. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a contagious crier. Yeah, so me too. I'm gonna be fine. Just, yeah, okay. Um, in, in Boston, though, um, you're back there, so do you think any cheers, like characters will come in and out? No, do you think? no. No? I mean, look, Don't the, let me wait, down, cheers, wait, wait, people. Wait, wait, no. I was like, that would be amazing. Just one. The, the bar. Just, the bar is closed. We, uh, you know, I mean, Jimmy's yeah. decided that you know, the bar went out of business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for whatever reason. But I would like to see Diane come back. Yeah. Just to, for one of those reasons of, of you know, Fraser being able to put something to bed, to, to end up with a nice thing Closure. between them. Yeah. Yeah. And and, uh, and to kind of just rediscover how much, because when I first got the role, the key to Fraser for me was that he loved her with his whole heart. That he loved with all of his being. And he's, and that actually defined who he is. He's been that way ever since. Yeah. He just goes in wholeheartedly with everything and that's what makes him funny. Yeah, oh, I'm so witty. Oh my gosh. God, I'm just so excited the show is back on. The level of wit is, ah, uh, and the elit elitism is just so it's funny. still there, yeah. Oh yeah. my God, I love it, it's still there. Um, I have to say this too, speaking of your wife we were talking about earlier, y'all, you're celebrating your anniversary soon, right? February 25th, yeah. And you were married in New York City. We were married on the stage of the Long Acre Theater where I was performing um, La Cage aux Folles. What? Uh, but Kate and I met when I rehearsed that, actually. And, uh, oh, that's, that's magical. When we fell in love. It's, well, the show's about love. We fell in love. It, it just was a perfect combination. And we, uh, we had a... What a movie. We had the ceremony on the stage, and then we uh, had our reception at the plaza, and people still talk about that. It was oh, really man, the fun. reception, let's talk... Yeah, that's the really one great. to talk about, yeah. yeah. Weddings, I'm always like, meh. The receptions, yeah. that's where the people come out, you know? <laughs> it's like little liquid courage, and you see who yeah. really wanted to be a dancer. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, it's amazing. They were all dancers at ours. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's amazing. Like, oh, yeah, I was totally going to be a dancer once. It's like, yeah, I love wedding receptions so much. Yeah, but um, so wait, so your kids, they range from 7 to 40. Yes. So that's, a, do you feel, I know, hey! <laughs> I, I got, I got a, I got a, when hey! You, when, you were first, when you were first introducing this lovely young woman up here, I thought you were going to actually say, we have a big surprise for you, Kelsey, because one of the children you don't know about. <laughs> oh I know, I know oh it's God. a recurring nightmare for my wife. So. Oh, my God, that's amazing. You are so funny. Wait, but I do have a question, because I feel like... I had kids later in life than a lot of my friends. Mm -hmm. Like, and I feel like, I think I'm better for it, starting yeah. later in life. Do you think that you're a different dad from the younger batch than sure. the older batch? Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, I, mean, I had more stuff to figure out when I was younger. I mean, I still had, the, does. Still had the war to fight, you know, I still had the, the, the battle to become who I am. That, yeah. You know, and that's a, that takes up a lot of time. And mm -hmm. so sometimes having kids is wonderful. You think it's a good thing, you do your best, but you miss some things. And yeah. I missed some things with my older kids, there's no question. The, the beauty is that, you know, God and life has given me a chance to make up for it. Yeah. You know, to kind of try to patch it all up and make it good. So I'm, I'm doing my best to do that. Faith is a big thing for you, right? A very big thing, yeah. 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 I it's think that's just... very important. Well, I chased faith more... all my life when I was little. You know, I, I, I went to Sunday school, to the Christian science school. And uh, whenever the woman would say, would you like, who would like to read this passage from the Bible? I thought, I'd like to read it. And uh, I think that actually taught me my love of language. I think my, my love of the word, right, of the English language came from reading the Bible. Yeah. And so I would walk kind of hand in hand with the idea of God's word and, and God and Jesus and stuff. And then of course I had, you know, some very difficult things happened in my life. And, mm. you know, I went through the classic, you know, I cursed God and said, no thanks, I don't need your help. I'd rather just handle this alone if this is the way it's gonna be. And then what's interesting is, you know, it never occurred to me to say, uh, oh, what, what, what are you up to? Meaning the enemy, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, nobody ever says to God, oh, yeah. uh, you know, says to the other guy, I don't, I don't appreciate what you've done here. Yeah. Uh, we always go, God, why did you let this happen? Well, maybe he didn't let it happen. Yeah. Maybe you it's know? a not maybe today. Somebody Satan. else came and got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> That's exactly. That's what I say. Not yeah, today, yeah. sir. Yeah. Let's see. Well, not and, get this um, girl's joy. So I carry, I carry that with me a lot, and uh, eventually I just kind of got back on track and and met, That's you know, beautiful. we met Jesus, I guess you could say. And, and I carry him with me, and it's uh, been a great thing. That's very beautiful. And that kind of testimony is so powerful, too, to tell everybody. That's cool. So I, I have to say this. You, this is, I mean, you're from Cheers originally, and now you own a brewery. And I think that's uh, amazing. Yeah, you own a brewery upstate, right? Yeah. yeah. 
I you. love upstate New York. Do you love it? I absolutely adore it. Yeah. 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 A Faith American Brewing Company. That's yeah. That's what I. What was your? Did, why did you want to do that? Uh, the water. Yeah. It's uh, it's I've had this property up there uh, for 26 years. Yeah. And uh, I'd walk the trails and hike and stuff and see the water and. And gosh, we got to do something with this. It used to be a really, really, uh, you know, successful place, prosperous place. There was a dairy farm and a, a big cauliflower farm, the largest cauliflower farm on the East Coast for years. Wow. And uh, it, it, the, the old old folks that come from that town say, oh, yeah, I used to pack uh, cauliflower pundits up there at uh, you know, your old uh, place. And they go, yeah, okay. There's they, no also used to, they also used to trap black minks. Yeah. So, you know, the, obviously yeah. that's a different story, too. Yeah. Uh, in any case... Uh, the beer seemed like the natural thing, and my wife actually suggested the beer as well, and yeah. we, we go through a big battle she's about that. She's got great ideas. Yeah, she said. Karaoke, she said, yeah, alcohol, you I'm did the beer into because, her. You know, because I said so, and I said, I know, I never thought of it before. <laughs> <laughs> I like her already. Yeah. Um, we have a game next. You want to play a game? Yeah, I heard this okay. game we're going to play. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying, it's good that you have faith in God and prayer, because you're going to need it. Um, gonna, okay. we, yes, I'm competitive. Um, well, we sang the Frasier theme song earlier and up next we've got a game about some of the best TV show theme songs of all time which I love be sure to watch Frasier on Paramount Plus everybody we'll be right back